Hey guys, it's Quentin from Fandroid.com sitting here with the Samsung Mesmerize. This is US Cellular's version of the Samsung Galaxy S. And if this phone looks familiar, that's because you've probably already seen it on Verizon as the Samsung Fascinate, which I have right here. Um, this phone, these phones are pretty much identical. They are identical phones. Um, on the right hand, hand side, you can see the power button there. Um, both have Super AMOLED displays, four inches. Both have the, the buttons at the bottom and both have the camera flash and the camera and it's the exact same phone quite literally um, except one has the US Cellular's logo on the top and the other has Verizon's um, but the main differences are going to be in the software and uh, there are a lot of differences <laughs> in the software between the two and we'll get to that in just a minute but let's just go over a brief uh, overview of the hardware inside the Mesmerize. You still get 16 uh, 16 gig micro SD card with it. Um, four inch Super AMOLED display, the one gigahertz Samsung Hummingbird, 512 megs of RAM, five megapixel camera with autofocus and flash on the back, and that can record HD video. Um, and then you have your three and a half millimeter headphone jack at the top with the micro uh, USB port right there, and the volume rocker up and down on the left side. And on the bottom, you can see the microphone hole and the slot to pull open uh, the battery cover. And we're going to take a look at that right now. As you can see, the SD card sits right there. Um, and this is the battery here, which is, I believe, 1500 milliamp hour. Yeah, it is. Um, so, yeah, pretty. I, it, it's identical. Uh, the back cover is exactly the same as the Fascinate. Um, so the only differences are going to come down to hardware, and I actually have uh, software, sorry, I actually think I turned this phone off, which was stupid, because we're going to have to turn it on, and I'm not going to make you guys right, wait, so, so we I'll have both phones booted up to the home screen, here is the Fascinate, here's the Mesmerize, um, Verizon's phone came with a lot of stuff installed, you had Tetris, you had the uh, Blockbuster, Kindle, the 3G Mobile Hotspot, all their uh, Vcast apps, Skype, um, Need for Speed Shift. There was just a lot of stuff, a lot more stuff than on the um, on the U.S. cellular version, um, and that's going to be the difference. If you like bloatware, <laughs> I'm not sure anyone really likes bloatware, but if that's your thing, then the Fascinate's not going to give you a problem. But um, it does come with a few apps that you can't install, whether you want it, want them or not. So those would include, uh, I believe, Need for Speed, Tetris, Amazon. Uh, Blockbuster. It comes with all that stuff, but you can't uninstall them even if you don't use them. So they're just taking up space in the application drawer. It's not like I can hide them or anything. It's just taking up space, and uh, yeah, that's just Verizon's thing, I guess. Um, and I'm not mad at them about it, but uh, you know, a lot of people they just like the feeling of a clean device that hasn't really been touched. Uh, so that's uh, one thing of concern to keep in mind. And also this phone has Bing pre-installed as the default search engine and the only search engine until Android 2.2 is out for the device. Uh, on the other hand, with the phone that we're here to take a look at, the Mesmerize, uh, you get some pre-installed apps. You get MySpace, you get Yahoo Mail, um, and then other than that, it's just a couple of apps to uh, show you how to use your phone. I believe they have one, or is it? I was looking at it the other day. Um, yeah, I don't know <laughs> where it's at, but they were showing it showed. Oh, there it is. Help, duh. It shows you how to use your phone. That's pretty cool if you're a new Android user and you want to know how to uh, navigate your home screens and edit stuff and add widgets and all that good stuff. Um, and then they have uh, Tone Room Deluxe, which I guess is their ringtone um, store. Uh, you can download ringtones from there. You know, I don't know why you would do that. Just go ahead and download ring droid from the android market and do it yourself but um and then they also have my contacts backup which i don't also get that one because you can just go to google.com and sign in <laughs> but uh if that's what floats your boat then that's what floats your boat i'm not gonna judge you but um yeah like there's really they have now they have their own navigation um powered by telenav of course and that's about it that's pretty much what you're going to get you get google thankfully um so you have that choice and it's just a galaxy s phone after that it's really there's not much to it um i would say if you wanted to see a, re a full review on the device uh check out the samsung fascinate review i do have a couple of things to say about the mesmerize though 
Uh, the battery life is it tends to be a little bit more better than here on the Fascinate and better definitely better than what I get on my Epic and that's I'm not sure if that's because of the uh, the lack of pre-installed apps but it that it's it's definitely noticeable. Um, battery life is really important to a lot of people and uh, the Fascinate I mean the Mesmerize can easily give you between anywhere between 12 and 16 hours. I usually get about 14 on a moderate usage day. Uh, just take, checking emails here and there, sending texts here and there, um, and about 10 to 12 whenever I'm doing a lot of heavy stuff like web browsing and stuff like that, listening to music. So, um, really respectable battery life, especially compared to the Epic uh, and compared to the Fascinate. I also didn't have many problems uh, making and receiving phone calls. I guess this is a phone, first and foremost. So, uh, <laughs> I guess that's going to be the most important thing you'll want to hear about. And didn't have a problem. I have uh, about two bars consistently here in the house. I have three here. But uh, the area I live in is really not good generally for cell phones. Um, I get no signal from Sprint or Verizon. The only company I get signal from is T-Mobile. Um, but U.S. Cellular signal is just fine. Uh, calls were clear, just as clear as you need them to be. I'm not a, I'm not an audiophile, so uh, that tinny noise that people always mention, I'm, I'm I, I don't hear it. I can hear the person, I can make out what they're saying. It's just fine for me. So, um, they haven't had a dropped call. Um, I haven't had a chance to check out the GPS actually, and that's going to be one thing that's important to folks as well. Actually, let's take a look. Turn GPS on. Let's see if it gets us a lock in Google Maps. Uh, did I install Google Maps? Yeah, I did. <laughs> and I'm inside a house, so if I don't get a lock, then this is by no means a scientific um, look at it. But I got a lock, so it's all good. GPS is great. Uh, so, or that might be, <laughs> it might be my Wi-Fi uh, pointing me out there. But who knows? It get, it got me a lock, and I'm good to go. So. Uh, I'll test that out a little bit later. I guess I'll put that in the post uh, when I finish uploading this video, which I'm going to go do right now. Uh, so this is Quentin from Fandroid.com signing out with the Samsung Mesmerize from US Cellular. Quite similar to the Samsung Mesmerize, I'm sorry, the Samsung Fascinate on Verizon. So if you want a, uh, a deep hardware review for that, go ahead and check out the Fascinate review. Um, and here's just a quick software look. The software is pretty much the same, but Verizon, you know, they had to put their own little touch in there. And, uh, you know, there's no Google. But uh, other than that, it's pretty much the same. So just go ahead and check out the Fascinate review. This is a quick look at the Samsung Mesmerize for U.S. Cellular. Available for $199 on a two-year contract and $100 mail-in rebate. Quentin from Fandroid.com signing off. Peace.